and it was just unexpected because I had played five games with them, I think, and I scored about four goals. What's going on guys? You already know what it is. Another day in paradise. What's up guys? I'm here with Billy and we're headed to his game in Leganes. He plays with the Leganes youth team and I'm gonna go watch his game, see how it goes. I might see some familiar faces and I'll tell you guys why after. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna go good. This guy better score a hat trick. I have to score a hat trick, the must. Because I'm gonna be there, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes good. I'm here at Leganes Stadium. I'll tell you guys a little bit about this stadium in a little bit. So let me tell you guys a little bit about Leganes. I was here last year for a trial. The trial was supposed to be three days and the team ended up keeping me for three months. I was here training every day for three months. I remember I had access to the actual official field, this stadium right here. I had access to it. I went and I would sit in the bleachers after practice sometimes, just blessed and thankful for the opportunity. And I was this close to exciting, but a little bit of politics, a little bit of corruption ruled me out. And I found out later that they were interested in signing me, but my age was a problem. I'm 25 years old and they're looking for younger players. But I played well enough to stay in the team for three months. It was definitely a good opportunity and I'm so thankful for it. So I'm here right now watching Billy. This is how I met Billy. I met him through Leganes. I'm watching his game right now and uh, I'm hoping that it goes well. And he actually talked to the coaches last week about me, the B team coaches, and they remember me. And they asked how I was, what I'm doing, and he, I asked him to ask them if I could jump into training and see if that's a possibility. And they said they'll get back to him. So who knows? Maybe I'll play for Leganes. You never know. I might get the opportunity because they're having a bad season this season, their reserve team and their first team. So I'm sure that they're needing players and I'm free, you know? I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna cost them any money. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe it could be an opportunity. Maybe I can try here again, but I'm here now. Memories, man, memories. I remember after the trial, I was so sad because I got cut and it was just unexpected because I had played five games with them, I think, and I scored about four goals. And I was doing really well, but I ended up getting cut. And yeah, now I'm here. But it definitely brings memories. I'm not gonna lie, it brings good and bad memories. The bad memories is getting cut because I had just played a game the day before that I scored. I played like 10 minutes and I scored a goal. And then the next day I showed up to training and they cut me. It just didn't make sense. But it's all right, everything happens for a reason. And if that never happened, power football wouldn't have existed. I probably wouldn't have ever made this YouTube channel. You guys probably would have never knew me or knew about me or knew my journey. So I'm giving you guys a little insight of the past and I hope you guys, you know, learn from it. But I'm going to the practice field because that's where their game is. They don't play on the like actual stadium because you know, only the first team plays there. But I'm really excited and I'm probably gonna run his familiar faces, which I don't want to, but you know, it is what it is. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
What's going on guys? We just got done with the game. They got the dub, 3-2. In my opinion, they got lucky, but what do you think, Billy? No comment, bro. Unfortunately, Billy didn't get that much playing time, but it's all good, you know? You can't always play. You gotta show yourself, you gotta prove yourself before you get those minutes, you know what I'm saying? So, it's freezing cold. My hands and my feet are literally gonna get frostbite because they're so cold. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're heading back home. You know, I kind of regret coming unprepared in terms of clothing wise because it's cold as look on, look, the look North on. Pole, literally. Look what, look what I'm wearing, bro. Look what <laughs> this guy is just wearing that and that. I have like three layers on him, still cold. <laughs> I don't know how this guy is literally living right Canadian, now. Canadian, bro. It's like nothing, bro. Yeah, the Canadian lifestyle. You know, you're used to this weather. <laughs> but yeah, we're heading to the metro right now, and uh, you know, I'll see you guys at home. What's going on, guys? Just got back home, finally. It was a journey through the cold. I was gonna say rainy, but that was a lie. Yeah, through the cold and... <laughs> my brain is just free. My brain is just frozen from how cold it was outside. But I came here and it's warm, thank the Lord. You know that I have a roof over my head. Yeah, today was an interesting day. Got to see Billy's game. Like I said, unfortunately he didn't get that many minutes, but you know he's gonna work to it and eventually be a starter. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to post as much as I can now. I'm back in training, not with the team yet, but individually. So I'm definitely gonna record that as soon as possible, as well as my workouts. So I'm just working up to being 100% right now. I'm at like 90 something percent. I can't give you an exact number, but I'm definitely feeling better. I can definitely sprint and run without pain, shoot the ball without pain. So yeah, I just, uh, I just need to get back into it. And once I get the ball rolling, you know, everything's gonna go up from there. So I've turned this whole journey not into a 365 day challenge. I've turned it more into just a challenge of making it pro. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys stay here and I hope you guys Follow along with the journey. It's gonna be a long journey, but you know, it's gonna be worth it. And I hope that I can inspire and motivate you all to do the same thing because life is short, you know, and you gotta chase your dreams before you get old and die. <laughs> as depressing as that sounds, but you know, it's life. You're born and you die. What are you gonna do in between it that's gonna make it worth it? What are you gonna do in between that's gonna make you make a name of yourself? You're born in this world to make a mark and change people's lives. You're not born in this world to just work a nine to five job and do that for the rest of your life and then grow old and then die. You know, that's not what life's about. You know, life's about achieving your dreams, achieving your goals, chasing your dreams and doing what you love to do and what you're passionate about. But yeah, I'll give you more insight about that, you know, in, in another video. I'll talk about motivation and goals and dreams and you know, what life is all about in my head. But yeah, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.